Hi, students. Welcome back to this course again. An introduction to mechanical engineering. I am Professor Yao. Unit system and conversion. Based and derived unit. The keywords. Specify. Be made up of. Be independent of. As their name implies. Physical quantities. Best unit. Derived unit. Engineers specify physical quantities in two different systems of units. The units, the United States customary system and the international system of units. Both the USCS and the SI are made up of base unit and the derived unit. A base unit is a fundamental quantity that cannot be broken down further or express it in or express in terms of any simpler elements. Base units are independent of one another and they form the core building blocks of any other unit system. Derived units as they are in as their name implies, are combination or grouping of several different base units. SI units system or international system of units. The quantity, the keyword, weight, major. Standardization, meter, temperature, amount of substance, light intensity, metric system, prefix, international conference. Following a series of international conferences, on weight, measure, and standardization. The international system of units are named in 1960, and the, the measurement standard structure around the seven base units. In addition to mechanical quantities of meter, kilogram, and a second, the SI include base units for measuring electric current, temperature, amount of substance, and light intensity. The SI is colloquially referred as the metric system and is conveniently used power, powers of 10 for multiples and the divisions of units. A few of derived units that are used in the SI are listed in Table 2. The Newton is a derived unit for force and is named after the British phys uh, physicist Sir Isaac Newton, which is defined as the force that imparts an acceleration of one meter per second to an object having a mass of one kilogram. The classic second law of motion, F equal ma, states that the force F acting on an object is equivalently uh, is equivalent to the product of its mass m and the acceleration a base and derived units in the si are often combined with the prefix 
so that a physical quantity numerical value does not have a power of 10 exponent that is either too large or too small. It is a good practice not to use a prefix for any numerical value that falls between 0.1 to 1,000. Thus, the daisy, deca, and hector prefix are rarely used in mechanical engineering. The keywords for United States customary system of unit. The United States customary system. The British system. Pound, pounds, feet, inches, miles, seconds, and gallons. Industrialization country. Whether you like it or not. Gravitation, motion, momentum, kinetic energy, and uh, acceleration. The material, thermal or combustion property of liquids, gas, and fuels. The second laws of motion. On the other hand, in short, English-speaking countries, by contrast. The United States continue to employ two systems of units, the SI and the, the United States customary system, or sometimes referred as the British system. The U.S. system includes such, a, such as ma majors as pounds, Tons, feet, inches, miles, seconds, and gallons. Most, are, most other industrialized countries have adopted the SI as their uniform standard of measurement for business and commerce. Whether you like it or not, engineers practice in the United States or in company with U.S. affiliations need to be skillful with both the USCS and SI. The seven base unit in the USCS are the foot, pound, second, ampere, ranking, more, and a candela. One of the major distinctions between the SI and USCS is that mass is the base unit in SI, whereas force is the base unit in USCS. Another distinction is that the United States customary system employ two different dimensions of a full mass. These are called the pound mass and the slug. In mechanical engineering, the slug is the preferred unit for calculations involving such quantities as gravitation, motion, momentum, kinetic energy, and acceleration. However, the pound mass is more convenient dimension for engineering. Calculation involving the material, thermal, or combustion properties of liquids, gas, and fuels. In terms of the USCS base units of pound, seconds, and feet, the slug is defined as follows. Referring to the second law of motion, 
one pound of force will accelerate uh, one slug object at the rate of one foot per second per second. On the other hand, the pound mass is defined as the quantity of mass that weighs one pound. One pound mass will accelerate at the rate of when one pound of the force acts on it. In short, the slug and pound mass are each defined in terms of the action of one pound force, but the reference acceleration for the slug is where the reference acceleration is for one pound mass. By agreement among the measurement standard laboratory of English speaking countries, one pound mass is also equivalent to 0.4535923 kilogram. A quantity of matter having a mass of one pound mass also weighs one pound. By contrast, an object having a mass of one slug weighs thirty-two point one seven four pounds. Converting between the SI and the USCS system, the keywords, be transformed into equivalent unit conversion factor, fractional expression. Likewise, look up appropriate the rules of algebra, tensor, reduce. A numerical value in one unit system can be transformed into an equivalent value in another system by using unit conversion factor. Conversion factors between some of the USCS and the SI quantities that arise in mechanical engineering are listed in table in general terms, the procedure for converting between the two systems is as follows. Step 1. Write the given quantity as the number followed by its dimension, which could involve the fractional expression such as kilogram per second or newton per minute. Step 2. Identify the desired unit that you would like to have in the final result. Step 3. If desired unit such as L, Pascal, Newton, Thomas, or me, mile, are present in the given quantity, you may find it necessary to expand them in terms of their definition and the best units. Step 4. Likewise, if the given quantity includes a prefix, this is not incorporated within the conversion factor. Expand the quantity according to the prefix de definition this in table 6. Step 5. Look up, an the, uh, look up the appropriate conversion factor from table 6 and multiply or divide the given quantity by it. Step 6. Apply the rules of algebra to cancel dimensions in the calculation and reduce the units to the one that you want to have in the final result. The decision as to whether the USCS or SI should be used 
when solving a particular problem will depend on how the information in the problem statement is specified. If the information is given in the USCIS, then you should solve the problem and apply formulas using the USCIS alone. Conversely, if the information is given in the SI, then formula, uh, form, formula should be applied using the SI alone. Homework. Handwriting all keywords and submit name, submitting them to F Coach Facebook. Just do the online quiz. And see you next time.